Hey guys, and welcome back to part three of my uh, walk around the Disney hotels. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Contemporary and the Polynesian Resorts. Uh, I wanted to I wanted to dedicate a video solely to those two because those are the two that we have uh, been the happiest with for the longest time. And I, I wanted to spend a little more time on them, uh, especially since the, the contemporary I'm giving a little asterisk. Um, so starting off, after the fiasco in, I think, either 99 or 2000 with the Grand Floridian, after we were so unhappy there, we had our reservation transferred to the contemporary, and we had never stayed there before. We, we had been, we had walked through the hotel, but we never stayed there before. And we stayed there, and we fell in love with the place. It was... Back then, here's the here's the asterisk to why we don't stay there anymore. Back when we first started staying at it in 99, 2000, I can't remember the freaking year for whatever reason. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to look it up. Uh, when we first started staying there, the, the contemporary had a very... I'm not an art buff, but it, like an art deco design. It, it's like if you ever saw the abstract paintings with the square in the middle and, and, and the swirl and the, and the triangle, the points coming off the square and, and the polka dots. And everything. You know, that whole art deco we feel. And the rooms were so bright. They had the bright colored bed spreads and, and the headboards were like blue and white, looked like, you know, zebra stripes and, and, and the... the, the it was just such a cool looking hotel. Google it and see if you can find the old contemporary uh, room pictures because it was just such a bright and neat looking feel. It was like a modern art type of thing. And uh, we had a lot of fun staying there. And then for whatever reason, they changed it and it, went from being bright and art deco to very cold and and business and dark and you walked into the room and all the all the colorful bedspreads were gone and all the colorful furniture was gone and they replaced a lot of the furniture with like the 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 like when you have a desktop that the black is there and dark cherry wood and 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 I mean Boy, what a com what a complete opposite of what it was. They're making it very business friendly. It's it's you know, you see Joe from accounting and he's going there because he has a meeting at the at the convention center which is right next door. So everything was made very business from the lobby right up to the rooms. I, I mean, you know, it doesn't feel very family friendly anymore. And uh, another thing besides the color of the rooms that we noticed when they made the transition to all the new furniture and everything there was like a lack of space in, in, in the rooms for your stuff I mean we're a family of four and you know so you have four people with you know they're all their sets of clothes whether it's for a couple days or a week or two weeks or for however long you're staying there and they have these very narrow shallow drawers and not a lot of them either you know me and my father we basically stacked our clothes in the bottoms of the closets so my mother and my sister could have the drawers to put their clothes in uh, very unfriendly to families i think very unfriendly feeling to families they're, they're not doing you know they're definitely trying to cater more to that business crowd it feels like which is their prerogative but that killed it for us. Um, aside from the colors of the rooms, the Contemporary has one of the best views of the fireworks that you'll ever see. Rewind that a little bit. If you're dis if you're trying to decide whether you want to stay at the Contemporary, the first thing you got to do is look at price, okay? Because there's different prices for the tower. And then there's different prices. There's a different price scale for the garden rooms, which you know, which are on the side of the tower. It used to be they demolished the one garden wing for the the new Bay Lake Tower, but they still have the one garden uh, wing, and it's less expensive than the tower. But if you're gonna stay in the garden wing of the contemporary, you're really missing out 
the whole point of the contemporary is to stay in that A-frame building with the monorail running through. Staying in the garden wing is like riding a carousel and finding the one horse that doesn't move. It's like you're missing. You know, I mean, if you're spending that kind of money to be in a deluxe resort, don't stay in the garden room. If you can't afford the tower, honestly, and, you know, I don't say this to be uppity or nasty or anything, but if you can't afford to stay in the tower, take your dollars, and I honestly believe they'd be better spent elsewhere. Maybe if you could find a good room at, at Polly or Boardwalk or, or you know... Or even Grand Floridian, if you want to give it a shot, and you, you know you think that maybe you'd have a, a more enjoyable experience than my family did, go for it, please. You know, um, but if you're not going to stay in the tower, you're really like killing the fun of staying there. But we stayed there for many years before the transition, and we always requested. Um, and before it was a request, now it's a separate price. I love that, but. We requested the side of the contemporary that faces the Magic Kingdom, and they have, bar none, one of the best viewing spots for the fireworks that you'll see anywhere around the park. Nothing beats walking out on your personal balcony and sitting down and watching the fireworks. They, they are, like, practically right on top of you. It looks like they're right over Space Mountain, um, and... It's tremendous. They're just so close. And when you get one of the big bursts, it's so close and so loud that it actually sets off car alarms that are in the parking lot underneath you, you know, in, in the contemporary parking lot. What a great view. That's definitely a selling point to stay in the tower facing the Magic Kingdom, that you get that great view of the fireworks from the comfort of your personal balcony and room. Um, you also have, like, just like the Grand Floridian and Polly do, you have the convenience of the monorail that's right there. So if you want to go to the Magic Kingdom, you just jump on the monorail. You don't have to wait for a bus or take your car and waste gas. Or if you want, hop the monorail, go to the Ticket and Transportation Center and hop the other monorail to Epcot. I mean, convenience is definitely there for you. Um... Just it, it's it's a good hotel. It's a nice hotel. Offers a lot, but personally, since the transition and moving to this more business feeling atmosphere, uh, it just it just doesn't do it for us anymore. And but in a way, it's kind of a good thing. In the same way that that the the fiasco at the Grand Floridian pushed us to the Contemporary, which we loved for many years, them changing the. Uh, contemporary around pushed us away from that into the Polynesian where we have been very, very happy and we've been very fortunate to have the money to stay at the Polynesian for the last couple of years. And that's the next stop on our uh, tour of, on my tour of, of the uh, hotels for you is the Polynesian Resort. The Polynesian Resort, I will talk about, I will talk up the most because it is our favorite hotel, bar none. Anywhere we have stayed before, nothing for us beats the Polynesian. In my opinion, the Polynesian is the friendliest hotel you will ever encounter. Just my opinion, but everybody. I, I think the people that stay there, you know, your fellow uh, vacationers, and the cast members... The cast members are just so great. The whole Ohana family, hey cuz thing is tremendous. And it always feels warm and inviting. And and it's just a beautiful setting. Everything that you would expect, it would expect from a Polynesian slash Hawaiian type hotel is there. The beautiful foliage... The, 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 the immaculate grounds, the flowers blooming everywhere, it's tremendous. We've stayed in a lot of the rooms. We've had concierge, which uh, concierge, the whole idea of that is a, a discussion for another video. If you're interested on that, let me know. And um, and actually, uh, I, may, I made a video of it. Is concierge worth it? It's a lot of money. You have to make that decision for yourself. Uh, but that's I do have another video talking strictly about concierge. Anyway, 
um, you know, we've stayed in the rooms that face the Magic Kingdom. We've stayed in the rooms that face the gardens. We've stayed in the rooms that face the volcano pool, the main pool, and the quiet pool, which is in the back. And <clears throat> they all have tremendous views. And I think you'd be happy with anything that you get. It's a, For a family, it's very nice and serene. And the volcano pool is a lot of fun for the kids. If you happen to be a couple... It's very romantic. It's probably as close to a Hawaiian-esque type setting as you can get without going to Hawaii. Um, but very beautiful. A, a lot to do there. Um, they have shops, you know, the boutique and everything where you can get the, you know, the tiki mugs. And, and you can mail, you can write on a coconut and mail the coconut to somebody. A lot of fun. Um Wylan Art Gallery, which has some incredible, incredible paintings. If you do happen to at some point stay at the Polynesian or walk through there, stop in the Wylan Gallery and look for paintings by Wilfredo Garcia. He's a, a, a painter from Hawaii. His paintings are tremendous. They The only paintings, I'm not an art buff, but these paintings, even though they're sitting on the wall... They look like they're glowing. He he is such a tremendous painter. Uh, he blows my mind, and I have no clue about art. I just know what I like, and I love his work. So visit the Wyland Gallery. Look at the paintings by Wilfredo Garcia. Um, they also have one of my favorite uh, dinner uh, restaurants to eat, eat for dinner, and that is Ohana on the second floor of the Great Ceremonial House. Very nice. Uh, all the food's cooked over uh, a, a wood fire pit, wood fire grill. It's uh, unlimited all you can eat. They come around with skewers of shrimp, chicken, pork, steak. Oh, my God, the food's great. And if you happen to time it right, <clears throat> if, you time, if you go at the right time and you ask for a window seat, when the Magic Kingdom does the fireworks, they dim the lights in the restaurant and they pipe in the music from the Magic Kingdom so you can sit there and eat at your table and watch the fireworks, which you have a really, really good view from, you know, a, a good view to watch. Um, very fun for kids if you're doing it and couples. That's I, I think that's really, really romantic. Uh, just the two of you eating really great food, sipping on a pina colada, watching the fireworks. I mean, what a day, what a way to cap off a day at Disney. Uh, I mean, that does it for me. Um, as far as convenience, just like the contemporary, you got the monorail right there. Jump on, go over to Magic Kingdom, spin around, hit the ticket center, grab the other monorail to Epcot. Um even if you just want to bum around, they have beaches with hammocks that you can just lay out, uh, all kinds of lounge chairs that you can just lay there in the beach in the quiet and feel the cool breeze. The volcano pool, which is pretty cool, which is which is noisy but very fun going down that slide. It's 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 really a blast. Um, if if you're not into that, you just want a quiet swim or soak. Uh, they do have the quiet pool, which is that. It's quiet. There's no slide. Uh, you know, just a pool. Just a plain pool. <clears throat> but the, the Polynesian is six out of five stars for us. It's tremendous. And we try and get the money together every year to make sure we can go. But we wouldn't want... If we could pick somewhere where if money wasn't an option, we would definitely always stay there it is i can't stop talking about it and i'm gonna go over time so i'm gonna stop talking about it um if you have any questions like i said in the other one it's very hard to compress a whole hotel into one video into a you know a five minute segment or 15 so if you have any questions on anything any concerns anything that you think i can answer i'm here for you i don't want to plan your whole trip because that kind of takes some of the fun away of it for you but if you have any type of questions, something I didn't cover, something I didn't cover in enough in enough depth, please let me know. I'm on just about every day. I'll read and respond to you as best I can. I'm, I'm trying to help you out, make the most of it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, 
I, I appreciate every single person that views, whether I have a, a one view or a million views. I appreciate that somebody's out there watching. Take care, y'all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.